New at 6 tonight. Long Island prosecutors are calling this one the biggest cocaine bust of the year, but this was no ordinary drug ring. Suffolk investigators say alleged dealers were masquerading behind legitimate businesses, even as they armed themselves with guns and assault rifles. In total, 190 law enforcement officers who were going through and conducting these uh, search warrants. And it was really because of stuff like this. Suffolk County District Attorney Thomas Spotus says his office worked with federal agents to seize dozens of weapons, including high-powered assault rifles, plus $440,000 in cash, along with marijuana, crack, and four kilos of cocaine. Nineteen people were arrested. Spotus says Juan Funes of Amityville was the drug ringleader. What Funes was doing was he was camouflaging his drug operation behind a legitimate house cleaning operation. Prosecutors charged that Funes was not alone in hiding behind legitimate businesses. The DA's office says it also arrested an insurance agent, a deli owner, a landscaper, a house cleaner, a house painter, an optical lens maker, and a stock day trader named Michael Rosati. There was no answer at his house in Copeg, nor at the Amityville home of the alleged ringleader Juan Funes. It's just disgusting. Lindenhurst resident Frank Tabaru was shocked to learn that two of the alleged drug dealers lived on his block. He was even more alarmed by the number of weapons seized. I'm glad the Suffolk County Police just confiscated them right now before anybody got hurt. Prosecutors say the drugs were driven from California to Long Island and then hidden in the homes of suspected drug leaders. They had put in their bedroom of their home in the closets. They had cut out holes and they would keep the uh, cocaine. Prosecutors say they will prove their case with evidence from the defendant's wiretapped phones. The defense attorney claims prosecutors are grandstanding and overcharging the defendants to try to make them look like drug kingpins.